the very first screen that you come to or that you see when you start your computer is your login screen. Now by default the background image is of some green vine and if you want to change that image to one of your friends, family, a holiday image and so on, I'll show you how to do it here. Now this will require you to go off on a path that if you veer off like in one of those old movies where somebody walks off the path and turns to stone, well, you want to keep an eye on what I'm doing and be sure you follow my instructions and don't start deleting files and trying to move files around. Leave them alone because these are your registry files, your settings for your computer. All we want to do is go in and tweak the registry to say, look, don't look at Microsoft Windows 7's default background picture, but look at this picture that I have for you and let that be the background for the login screen. That's all we want to do here, okay? So to get started, you want to come down here and click on the Start button. Down the Search field, type in Reg Edit. Up here, we're going to edit the registry, which controls the settings of our computer. And you want to come up here and click on the Reg Edit Executable Program. When you click on it, it says, OK, you're going into a place where you can actually make changes to your computer. Are you sure you want to do this? I'm going to go ahead and click Yes. And it opens up my registry editor. Again, it contains all the settings on my computer. And I just want to change one setting. I want that setting of the background of my login screen to be able to point to another image and not that boring one, okay? So once I open this up, over in the left-hand side you have a list of all the folders, just like in a hierarchical structure you have the head folder, its subfolders, and so on, and then over to the right, whatever folder we select in the left will reveal the contents over here of that folder, okay? So here's where we want to go. First of all, we want to select the H key local machine, and then by default, you see that little black triangle turned down? Let me click on it, it turns it up. If it's not turned down, go ahead and click on it to turn it down, okay? And then next, come down here where it says Software and click on its corresponding triangle. It turns down and reveals the subfolders of software. And then come down here and find Microsoft. And then next to it, click on its triangle. And then go ahead and scroll down to the W's for Microsoft. It's down here quite a ways here because we want to be able to find Windows. And there it is. Go ahead and click on the triangle next to Windows. And then below that, Current Version, click on its triangle to expand it. And then below that, we're looking for Authentication, click on its triangle to expand that folder. And then below that, we have the Login User Interface, click on its triangle to expand it. And then right here, you have Background. Go ahead and click on the background to select it. And then over in the right pane, we have the file that we're looking for, Background. The next thing we want to do is we want to be able to modify that file by right-clicking on it and going down to Modify. Now by default it should say the value is 0. We want to change it to 1, okay? So just come in here and if it's 0, go ahead and it should be 0. Type in 1 and click Okie dokie. And we're finished, so I'm going to go ahead and close out of there. Next, we need to go to the folder that contains the default image and be able to put our own image in there. So to get there, you want to come down here, click on the Start button, and you want to type the following in the search box. Let me go ahead and maximize the document here. This is what you want to type. Percent win dir percent backslash systems 32 backslash oobe. The backslash is the key just above the Enter key on the keyboard. In any case, since I already have it typed here, I'm just going to click and drag and select it. Okay. Right-click on it, go down to Copy, Come down here, click on the Start button, and in the Search Programs, type it in, or I'm going to right-click and paste it in. And there it is up at the top, the UBI folder. Click on it, and it opens up the UBI folder. And you can see the address, C Drive, Windows, System32, UBI. In the UBI folder, you want to go ahead and create a new folder called Info. So find a blank area. Of course, I have it here. So go ahead and use that as a reference. Right-click, go down to New, and then go over and click on Folder. It adds a new folder. Go ahead and type in all lowercase info. I'm going to click off in a blank area and right click on it and delete it because I already have it, info. After you create that info folder, double click to go inside the folder. And then once inside the folder, I want you to go ahead and create another folder called backgrounds, okay? Find a blank area here somewhere in the folder, right click. Again, go to new, click on folder. When it drops in the folder, type in backgrounds, all in lowercase just as you see it here. If you misspelled it, go ahead and right click on it and go down to rename and then go ahead and delete and type in the correct backgrounds for it. And then finally, go ahead and double click on that folder. And what you want to do is you want to be able to bring in your image and put it in this folder. Now there's three stipulations about this image, maybe four. 
First of all, the image that you put in here has to be named just like you see it here, background default. Backgrounds all lowercase, then a capital D for default. Second of all, the image has to be a JPEG file, .jpg. If you don't see the .jpg or the extension of the image, you can of course right click on the image, go down to properties and left click and there it is, JPG, so it has to be a JPEG image file. The size of the image has to be less than 256 kilobytes, and notice mine's 227 kilobytes. Let me go ahead and close out. Notice that when I double click to open up the image, the image still looks good even though the size of it's relatively small. Basically that's a picture of Temple Square here in Utah during Christmas, and that's my background for my login screen. Looks really cool. In any case, I'm going to go ahead and close out. Also, the dimensions of my image is 1024 by 768 right click go down to properties and then come up here and click on the details tab you can see it's 1024 by 768 once you have all that and you put the image within the ubi within the info subfolder within the actual backgrounds folder you're done i'm going to go ahead and close out of here close out of the document without saving and then all you have to do is go ahead and click on the start button come over here hover over the arrow click on log off when you log off you're in your login screen and it should be the picture that you place there. If not, make sure you go back through everything and do exactly as I showed you. And then last but not least, if you don't want to do this and you changed your mind, you want to revert it back to where it was, just go ahead and rewind the video, follow the same steps, and when you go to your registry edit, instead of setting the background to 1, go ahead and delete it, change it back to 0, and you'll have your default background image of that green vine on your login screen. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel, get notified of the latest videos, and for only $2 a month, you can have access to all my Microsoft Office training videos.